Good morning, Earth. It's God's comic, Brad Stein. And this is your daily Brad. Today is November the 6th, 2024. I don't normally give the dates because as I said yesterday, I try to just keep these little devotions evergreen. So if somebody stumbles upon this 20 years from now and I'm long dead, uh, they can still hopefully get some inspiration out of it. But I needed to document this day for a reason. Yesterday was election day for the United States of America, 2024. And it was between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. And I talked about the idea that we don't know the future. We never know. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if we're going to be alive. We don't know if there's going to be a war, uh, a pestilence. Um, a virus. <laughs> we don't know what's coming. And it becomes very anxious for us. We want to know what's coming. Why do you think they've always had tarot cards and things along that line? People want to know the future. They don't want to guess. They don't want to be held in suspense. They want to know what's coming but we don't know what's coming and here's the truth that's by God's intent God says I control everything enemy is the God of this world we forfeited our place here a long time ago but even in Job Satan had to come to God first and say can I Beat up on your friend here. God still is sovereign. He still controls everything and has to navigate sin and evil throughout the earth uh, and people's choices while remaining focused on how he wants the world to pan out. It's his game, <laughs> not ours. I said whatever happens... God is in control, but normally we say that either out of despair, hey, everything's about to fall apart, but I guess God's in control somehow. I guess I'll make it, but it's really sort of false <laughs> assurances. We're trying to convince ourselves that somehow or other uh, I'll survive. But there's another part of this equation. As I said yesterday, we pray for things that we want, but ultimately we believe that we're supposed to get them, that that's what prayer is for, to achieve that thing which we desire. And oftentimes it is to take the burden off of us. I'm sick, make me well. I'm scared, give me courage. I'm confused, give me clarity. I'm weak, give me strength. We always want, really, in our prayers, to be given comfort, to be made comfortable again. And if you are trying to serve God Almighty in this fallen earth as a sinner, the only growth in spiritual maturity that you're going to inculcate into your character and your behavior to become like this Christ-like figure that God has called us to be and that you say you want to be, the only way you're gonna get there is through pain. Weight is what builds your muscles, not lightness. Running is what gives you stamina, not a hammock. And so I, I dreaded a Kamala Harris win because she's a Marxist. And I could not imagine that the United States of America voted a Marxist to rule our nation. It would have been a demonic disaster. But I also realized perhaps we deserve it. 
the applauding of abortion by the Democrat Party, the mutilation of children's genitals, the racist ideas of bringing people in of different colors or genders or spectrums over those who simply deserve it is not America. Certainly not God's way. God made it very clear he's a meritocratist. Meritocratist, if that's the right word. He gives each one of us certain gifts and then it demands us to go out and double them. You got five, give me 10. You got three, give me six. You got one, give me two. So tonight, or this, <laughs> excuse me, this morning, I'm tired, I was up all night. Donald Trump won. To me, that isn't a victory lap. That isn't something that we should be screaming about and excited about and certainly not lording it over those who voted Democrat. This is a day of humbleness to fall on your face and say, Father God, you showed us mercy more than victory. We need to love our enemy, pray for those who despitefully use us, and instead of getting in the face of those who believe the other lies and deception that let, was led by the left and progressives towards this one man, we need to try to bring them to Christ. Get them to our side, let them see the truth and the reality that we are not evil people or garbage or fascists or Nazis. We just want to be free. We literally remember the DNA of what it meant to be an American, and we want to participate. This is a day to be humble. This should be the first day of the rest of your commitment to being a disciple, not a Christian. To humble yourself, pray daily, read the word, fast. I fasted yesterday, thought that's the least I could do for my nation's voting day, and simply be grateful and pass that on with empathy and love and kindness and gentleness towards those who are in despair and let them see, no, no, you don't have anything to fear. Let me bring you to the one who will bring you peace and purpose and beauty and love and hope. Let us actually show you the one who truly will give you what you were searching for when you followed the wrong path. It's all right, we've all been there. And that's what God is, forgiveness and grace. If you're a Christ follower, do that. This is God's comic, Brad Stein. Please go to bradstein.com and join the militia of the mind so I can have your email and you can get my newsletters and let's create disciples around the world until he calls us home or comes and gets us. This is God's comic and this is your daily bread.